All right, it looks like we could have our first dumpster fire of the year starting to brew, and it's none other than your Monsters of the Midway, the Chicago Bears. Yes, they've gotten off to a terrible start to the season, a real gut punch to Bears fans. They were talking like, hey, we're going worst to first. Justin Fields is going to emerge. We got ourselves an elite wide receiver in DJ Moore. The offense is going to take off. The defense is going to be better. And we're bringing home the NFC North. And it's not looking like that so much this year. They got their ass whooped at home week one against division rival Green Bay. And then they were pretty much dominated most of the day down in Tampa. And the first place you have to look off at the terrible performance so far for the Bears, right at quarterback Justin Fields. Fields has been abysmal this season to start. His running and mobility has not been there where it was last year towards the end of the year. The passing game is a joke. They aren't getting DJ Moore or any explosive plays involved. They can barely run the football. But the defense isn't much better. This is a defense that has been horrendous. They were awful last year. They spent a whole lot of money in the offseason, and they are no better. They're now the first team in NFL history to lose 12 consecutive games, giving up 25 or more points in each of those games. Matt Eberflus was a defensive head coach. He was brought in on his defensive prowess. He spent a lot of money to make that defense awesome, and they're awful. I'm looking like Eberflus is a bust of a head coach, a horrible, horrible decision for Chicago. The GM isn't doing much better if we look at the talent on this team. Maybe it is talented, but I sure as hell don't see it on the football field. And guess what? The GM didn't draft this quarterback. That's always your biggest sign on there could be a change coming up for the Bears. Now, Fields was asked about this from the media today, and this is what started the controversy. He was asked about why the slow start, why the 0-2 start, and he said, yeah, it could be the coaching. Oh, my Lord. We got the quarterback blaming the coaching. Now, taken out of context, the national media and the headlines ran with this, with that statement. He talked about, they get me what I need to see. They do the right things. But then in game, I just can't be thinking. I got to just play. I can't think. He feels like he's been very robotic, very clunky the first two weeks, just not being himself, overthinking stuff. I do agree with his assessment. You cannot overthink on the football field as a quarterback. Sometimes you just got to go out there and play football and make the plays happen. So I get what Fields is coming at, but this was so, so bad. It was such a hot story that Fields had to hold like an impromptu presser in the locker room after practice today, talking with the media saying, hey, I would never blame coaching. I'm not blaming coaching for this. First and foremost, this is on me. Good for Fields, but it's kind of like a five-alarm fire that they have to get out in front of and get control of this thing because it's getting crazy up there. And this was the least of their problems today. They lost their tackle for the season, it looks like. So the protection in the offense that's already been awful is going to get a downgrade even more. And what about this defense? Crazy rumors. I feel bad. Actually, I'd be excited if I was a beat writer in Chicago today covering the Bears because it felt like there was a new story popping up out of there every five or ten minutes. It was a wild day for a Wednesday. Uh, Bears defensive coordinator Alan Williams stepping down as the team's defensive coordinator. He's going to take some time away to focus on his health. But the rumors and reports were absolutely insane. We're talking, there were reports that the FBI raided his house. They raided the Bears facility. That Peanut Tillman, the legend himself, was involved. Oh, man. The FBI just taking control. It was a lot of crazy, wild. I think Twitter got too much a hold of these accusations. And these things were going wild. The Bears released a statement said the FBI didn't raid Hallis Hall or anything like that. But this is not on my 2023 bingo card. Ian Rappaport having to clarify things. The FBI did not raid Hallis Hall today. The league is not involved. And Peanut Tillman, the GOAT, was not involved whatsoever in the matter. So it was just a wild day in Chicago. But again, this is an awful defense. They lose their defensive coordinator. Hopefully Matt Eberflus takes over his defensive responsibilities. I don't know if he can do anything to fix it. And the Bears are in real deep shit. They got to go to Kansas City this week, a Chiefs team that has not looked good on offense the first two weeks, but their defense has been pretty damn good. And I'm thinking this could be a bloodbath in Kansas City for the Bears. There's just so much going on for this team. 
It looks like this team could be in the running for Caleb Williams. Maybe you can flip Justin Fields. I don't know who would want him at this point. It's kind of a shame. He looked like he had some promise, but he never learned how to throw a football this offseason, which was the biggest concern. And now the offensive running game isn't there. It's just not a whole lot of juice in Chicago with the Bears. This situation is one to monitor. This could be the first coach of the year fired. I'd be keeping tabs on that. Eberflus could not be long for the coaching world because the Bears aren't going to get any better anytime fast, it feels like. And the schedule's not going to get any softer. They're playing the AFC West. Now the Broncos and the Raiders are underperformed so far to start the season, and so have the Chargers. So maybe they can find some legs there. And the NFC North, not that great either. But this is just a weird day and a horrendous start. And you don't want the media running with a headline that the quarterback is blaming the coaching, where I would honestly blame the coaching too. But Justin, you haven't been good enough. The Bears haven't been good enough. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you believing in Fields? Are you still holding out hope he could get to that next level? Or is it time for the Bears to press the reset button and go get themselves a new quarterback? Maybe fire the head coach. I don't know what they're going to do with the GM, but maybe it's time for a full reset in Chicago once again. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I want to hear from you all what your thoughts are on this. Like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Share this video with your friends. It really helps the channel out a lot. If you want to support the channel more, click that join button or hit the link in the description and sign up for a channel membership. You get a lot of cool emojis and badges and stuff when you can use in our live streams during Monday Night Football games or any live streams. You get cool member shout outs, member only live streams. It helps support me, allowing me to make more of this great sports content for y'all. Again, like this video, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see y'all tomorrow.